may remember what happened next. A lot of protests and criticism. So the government put it on the back burner. But now it's back. The government of India has notified the rules for the CAA. Six religions. Six religious groups, rather. Hindus, Sikhs, Jains, Parsis, Christians and Buddhists. And these people must belong to any of these three countries. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan. So if you fit this bill to protect religious minorities in these countries, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Religious minorities face persecution here in a lot of cases. Thousands of them have already fled to India. The idea is to give them a new life. Question number two, why are Muslims not part of this list? And that's been the biggest question really of the critics. Rights organizations are asking it. Opposition parties are asking it. Even Indian Muslims are asking it. So now the Home Minister of India has answered this question. Listen to this. Muslim abadi ke liye hi wo hissaad bharat ka bhaag nahi hai. Wo bhumi isi liye de di gai thi. Phir to har desh se avyastha se jo ana chahi iske liye bharat ke darwaje khod lo. Bharat kahan batta hai? अखंड भारत के जो लोग हिस्सा थे और जिन पर धार्मिक प्रताड़ना हुई है उसको शरण देना मैं मानता हूं हमारी नैतिक जिम्मेदारी है और हमारी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है But the debate will not end with this. The CA has already been challenged in the Supreme Court of India. Some 200 petitions are pending. They say you cannot use religion to give citizenship. It violates the constitution. That's what the critics say. Plus, opposition parties do not like it. Some say they won't implement this law, like in the states of Kerala and West Bengal. So let's take a closer look at the ties. A migrant to prove a few things, like your country of origin, your religion, your date of entry into India, and your knowledge of an Indian language. But how will this information be verified? Through documents. Earlier, you had to produce very specific papers. You had to come up with a valid passport or an Indian residential permit. But now that's gone. You can produce any identity document or certificate, maybe a school certificate or a birth certificate or a license, and this can also be used to determine your religion. So simply put, the threshold has been relaxed. It's now easier to prove that you're a migrant. Now we come to the date of entry. The CA has, cu has a cutoff date, December 31st, 2014. You must have entered India before this date for you to qualify. Only then can you seek citizenship via the CAA, 31st December 2014. But how will that date be determined? Earlier, you needed a visa, plus other specific documents. But now it's been expanded. You can produce a variety of documents, like a letter from court or a government office, a tenancy agreement, any document from a public sector bank, certificates from a local lawmaker, utility bills, even a marriage certificate. Any of this can prove your date of entry into India. Again, go to the district collector. And who does a collector report to? The state government. So technically, states should or could have refused it. But the CAA rules call for a new body. A body that will report to the central government. Only they can receive and approve the citizenship requests. So expect a battle ahead. And now we come to the final question. Will this affect Indian minorities? The opposition says it will. They say the CAA will strip Indian Muslims of their citizenship. On what basis do they, do they say this? What is their logic? For that, we'll have to go back to 2019. Back then, the CAA was never discussed alone. Another policy tagged along with it, and that was the NRC, the National Register of Citizens. And it's exactly what it sounds like. A list of all Indian citizens, a register. Those who do not feature on this list, would eventually be deported. That was the idea. And the government said the NRC exercise would follow the CA. So critics called it a ploy. First, give citizenship to non-Muslim migrants and then expel the Muslims. But now the equation seems to have changed. The order is the Supreme Court of India. There is no CA from the CA. In the country, the CA will be in every part of the country. In this country, the CA will be in every part of the country. It is not necessary to be in any other country. Because the CA will not be in any other country. 